we are going to analyze the calcium content of this invert emulsion using the API titration method. First thing we do is to get 100 cc of a solvent. We are going to be using normal proxy propanol or PNP. This is going to break the emulsion so we can go to the water phase and measure the calcium content there. However, the calcium content, we are going to express it as milligrams per liter of whole mud, which is the API way. Into the jar. Now the sample. I'm going to do this with a syringe. So I'm going to go ahead and pull three cc's and go down to one so my total sample size is going to be of two cc's. I'm going to clean it so I can see the graduation here. So I'm going to go from three to one. Close the jar and shake it for about a minute. This is going to give the PMP the possibility of breaking the emulsion. should be enough and now I can put 200 cc's of distilled water. Now we have to put 6 cc's of what we call calcium buffer solution which happens to be one normal sodium hydroxide solution. So I'm going to get it from this. Pretty viscous. And we are going to add Calver 2 calcium indicator. It's a color indicator. It says 0.7 to 1 gram. We don't really have to measure that. We can make an estimation based on experience. Probably notice that this emulsion is already broken. That's exactly what we want in order for us to scavenge all the calcium in the water phase. If we don't break the emulsion, the water phase is hidden, emulsified. I have to shake for about two minutes. And we can let it rest until we see a phase separation. If we see a reddish color, that means that we have calcium, as we probably do. You can see that the bottom part of this, which is the water phase, it's reddish. So we can see the reddish color, emulsion cut or broken. I'm going to put the magnet and get some stirring here. Now the titration part, we are going to use a 5cc pipette and we are going to titrate with a maximum concentration of EDTA, we call it actually versinate hardness titration solution, the one that has 1 milliliter equivalent to 200 equivalents per million. The other ones are 2 and 20, today we are going to be using the 200 because we know for sure that the concentration of calcium is going to be pretty high, as in all invert emulsions. 5 cc's, and I'm going to titrate until the color will change from reddish, as it is right now, to something green or bluish green. Second pipette, it's been already 5 cc's. Still reddish. I've seen some bluish tones and then back to red. And pipette number three. So we are over 10 cc's now. And we have a clear change in color. You can see a greenish 
bluish. So we are going to call this 11.4, 10 plus 1.4, 11.4. We don't have to wait as soon as we saw a clear change to blue, that's the final point. So now the measurement is, because I was using the 200 EPM calcium buffer solution, I have to do now 4,000 times 11.4 and divided by the size of the sample, you remember that it was 2 cc's, comes to 22,800 milligrams of calcium per liter of mud.